Welcome guys back to another video as you can see here. We're back with another vlog. I, so today is gonna be a little bit of a fun vlog, not really too much car related. Maybe just a little bit, I'll throw a couple things in there. But today's a fun day guys. Today's not gonna be a stressful day. Today's vlog is gonna be very short. Um, But it is, it is 722 right now. As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on guys. 7:23, and I'm on my way to work right now. You already know your boy got to work if he wants to mod the car. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna be on our way because uh, I go in at eight, and I still haven't ate anything. So let's go grab some stuff from 7-Eleven like that. I could eat real quick, and then we're gonna change into our shirt and uh, to work. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys outside of work. I'll film a little bit while driving. But yeah, after that, that's it. See you guys after work. Alrighty guys, so uh, I told you it was gonna involve some car stuff in this content. You already know, like, it's a vlog without a, well, what's a vlog without car content? I just wanna know. But I'm about to teach you guys the right way to put water in your in your radiator. Now, if you don't have the, the actual water that you need in the car, you don't need it. You just need to refill it. It has it already has antifreeze, so you don't need that shit no more. The next time you go buy it, you buy it, you put it, and boom, the car will still be nice and protected, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead and and pot that shit. I'm gonna pot that shit. And then what we're gonna do the following, and I gotta do it now, cause there's light out here. When there's no light here, bro, it's so hard to, to like actually see if there's water in my radiator. It's so annoying. Let me go ahead. All right, guys, I'm gonna lay you guys down right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put down this little stick right here. Bam. We gotta put water in two places in this bitch. My, my car is a greedy bitch. We gotta put water in here, and we gotta make sure there's water in here, and God, Oh, there's no water in here, bro. The water from here is gone. That big, gone. There's nothing in there. So we gotta go ahead and open both places, right? We gotta refill here, but we, we're gonna fill here up whenever here is filled up already. So we gotta grab a towel ASAP. Where though? Oh, my towel, I got a question. We're gonna go, now, now we gotta pop the damn trunk back there. God damn it. So we're gonna go ahead, you know what I mean? Finger the shit out of her right there. And then we're gonna go back here, right here. You know what I mean? And open it a bit, and uh, we're gonna find any towel, like uh, literally any. T what the, what is this? Oh my muffler! This muffler looking nice. Right, so let me tell you guys, the mod is coming up. Trust me, there's mods coming up, guys. You guys don't even know it. You guys could probably feel it, but you guys don't fucking know it. Where where is my towels? Do I have to buy new towels? Actually, guys, I bought this a long time ago. You guys should buy it too. This is for your fuel system. You buy this, and it cleans your injector, it cleans everything in, in the car. I always have like six bottles of those in my trunk. Can't find. Fuck it. You don't need a towel. I only use a towel because just in case there's pressure in there. But you don't really need the towel. It's been sitting here for... Oh yeah, there's water in there. But you, you always want to overflow it. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to place that bit right there. And that's dirty as fuck. That's, that's dirty as fuck. So what I'm going to do, guys. This is the next step that you guys don't know. You actually got to crank the car to be able to refill this because then remember when you refill this there's already water going into the engine so you always got to fill this up like that it bubbles up and water goes into the engine and then you can actually refill it and then you refill this to where it actually needs to go so just trust me trust the process guys see you guys in a little bit let it cheese on we're gonna go ahead and go put some good old h2o in her you know what i mean some good old h2o in her so you see how she bubbles up a little bit that's what she, that's what you want right there when she start bubbling like that so then you fill that up and you got it guys she's live thirsty bitch is live you already know you already put the cap back on i already refill that up all the way up i haven't filled that shit the best i could you know what i mean i i, I ain't no mechanic but i know that there's water that needs to be in there so you already know she's out i gotta put the, the little cover back on but for where i'm gonna put the cover on when they have to do like maintenance on it and they got to do work on the engine very soon and then that sensor that sensor down there we gotta switch that we're gonna switch that together very soon but yeah this is a little project car that me and my brother could literally work on like <laughs> her name is keisha don't get it twisted <laughs> he this nigga said fuck keisha <laughs> but yeah this this is this is all this is all we gotta do here now i'm gonna go ahead wait for her to go to temp and see if she over over overheats she she been in heat lately guys she been in heat lately so Gotta make sure she don't, don't overheat. You already know. She's on Nissan. 
So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Since I'm kind of bored, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Joe ride. I ain't gonna count. Uh, she looks like she's going up to tent, so there's nothing wrong with the, the actual car anymore. Good on tent, gotta make sure all these are good. That's smoking hot. All good, guys. Like, she's not overflowing anymore, or like, you know, overheating anymore. I'm gonna go ahead, go on a Joe ride, try her out a little bit, and park her out. She needs to be parked. I always parked her reversed, but today I didn't because I came from work and I was hella tired. And um, god damn, these yellow lights, bro. I swear to god, I hate these yellow lights. Fuck, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch you guys after that Joe ride. Or maybe I'll just show you a little bit of what I do, maybe a little bit cinematic of me driving. All right, guys, see ya. Woo, okay, this person's going slow as hell, my boy. It doesn't take long as hell to get to the end of this street. Like, what are you doing? Like, all these cars are stopped. Why you couldn't be stopped at your house? I just want to know, bro. I just, I just, what the fuck happened there? God, damn. Guys, actually, around my area, this, this have some interesting, interesting cars. If you really, like, stay around and walk around my area, guys, it's like, you can actually see some of the cars that are cool like that hatchback right right there you see that you see that i'm about to show you guys a nissan i don't know if, it's, if this guy still lives here though but he has a nissan and it looks cool as shit when he used to live right here so let me see if let me see if he's still there um actually no he doesn't live there no more but yeah you guys you guys know what i mean like there was a cool ass freaking Nissan bro lower than everything I will show you guys a picture of it and everything if I have it I know I took a picture of it another hatchback right there it looks nice as hell we're gonna go ahead and turn this right here you know what I mean like get down this road is where uh, Daniel lives guys here we go look at this me, me and Daniel and David we don't hang out as much guys we all have lives now like that's that's the craziest thing we all doing our own little thing but yeah, maybe one day I can get Daniel in the car and slide the shit out of this car. I already slide her once, so I can slide her again. You already know what's good. What's popping is, uh, it's Lazo Vlogs, bro. Don't fuck with me. But yeah, give me one second, guys. Let me see if I can get Daniel to come outside. So just give me like two seconds. Oh, boys, going on car content. There's more car content for you guys. Here, so Daniel got, um, a new car. The interior is way better, guys. Like, way better. Look at that shit right there. Look at that. Look at that. Nutty, nutty. It's brand new, guys. It's a brand new car. What is it? A Kia? It's a hatchback. Way better. I was telling Daniel to tank the, the front windshield. She, he wants to do halfway. I told him to just do it the whole thing. Let me see how your mom has it. Let me see how his mom has it. Like the tent on the side already looks good. Like it's pitch black. Oh yeah, he wants to like halfway guys. Just like probably like about, I want to say like vision. Sight, like the sight like that doesn't hit the yeah but mine's mine's in the other side by the way guys i did the tint on my car already i didn't film it i'm gonna go way darker in this bit because i realized i don't like the tint and i'm gonna go way darker here yeah because here's 15 here's uh i think i believe this is like no this is 15 too i believe so but it looks darker because in the sides but yeah this bit look way better way better but let me talk to daniel for a little bit guys and i'll catch you guys in like a quick second Alrighty guys, the only reason why I'm filming with my phone right now, and yes, my room is a whole mess, I gotta clean it like today, sometime today, is because the camera does not have battery. So we have to film with the freaking phone. Something else guys, I was gonna do a little photo shoot with this stupid bitch, but it's raining. It's fucking pouring. Look, look how it is. It was just not raining and it's, it's pouring now. This bipolar ass, fucking rain is coming back and coming back and coming back like give me a break i just want to have a little photo shoot with my baby that's all i want but here's here's the problem guys to have a car like this and i'm gonna build it you gotta like get a lot of pictures while being stuck because you want to see how it looked before you actually like modify the shit out of it and the stupid ass freaking rain ain't like not letting me do it it's not letting me do it like what are you what are you doing Alex 
They don't woke up a madman Tryna counsel that if a nigga had plans Can't answer that right now, I'm trapped You heard what happened to the last man Oh, you didn't, bet you can't ask I wish I wasn't a rap, I tell you, I ain't just rapping Alrighty, right, guys, let's get into this bit See how, how she sounds while well, I go ahead Oh, she had a little bit of tacaro, you already know. What? 7-Eleven. It's okay, my brother. It's okay. It's okay, my brother. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's mad as he So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get in a bit. We're going to wait for her this to go to temp. And then we, we're going we're gonna to head out. You already know. Yes, I'm with the phone. Why? Once again, my camera ran out of battery. In fact, I was supposed to do like a mini, a mini photo shoot with the car today, but I didn't get to do it. I was, I was also supposed to clean the car, but it, yeah, life just hit home sometimes and uh, it didn't work out, man. It just didn't, didn't work out. We're going to clean the side mirrors real quick. It's a tiny bit. You already know. You just clean them up a little bit, and then we're off. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna go to 7-Eleven now. Like, let's go, guys. Alrighty, guys. We're we're at the gas station. We're at 7-Eleven. It's kind of crazy because look at the price now. It's it's crazy. Um, I just took some pictures of the car. I went to an old um abandoned area earlier, and uh, god damn, let me tell you. I took some good pictures. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. I'm gonna sit down, prop the camera, and we're gonna edit these pictures together because I, I, I just realized I edit my pictures for my car way different. Way, way, way different. And um, yeah, and then we're gonna talk about the headlights. I'm gonna see if my boy Eric can do it for me because I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna cap. I don't know how to make them not yellow no more, but these have to do until then. But. Let's go ahead in and uh, get the day going. It's still raining, by the way. It's not, it hasn't cleared up at all, but let, let, let's get into 7 Eleven. Guys, I got some bad news for you guys. This bit took a shit on me last night. It blew up, so now we're gonna put water in there because there's no water in the radiator. But yeah, so basically, we're waiting for a tow truck to come bring it. We're gonna take it to a friend's house and he's gonna fix it. So I'm gonna explain more in a little bit. But yeah, this. This bit took shit. So last night was just like a regular night, guys. It was a regular night, and then um, out of nowhere, it just started blowing a lot of a lot of white smoke. Like it was a big cloud. Um, I wish I took a video of it, but at the time, I wasn't thinking about video. I was thinking about what's wrong with my car. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna put some water in it real quick. Let me see if it's nicking. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. And I'm gonna have to push this bit forward or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. Let me get the key to this bit, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, guys. So, it's been about maybe a day or two from the last clip. Um, So, more of the story is the car is kind of fucked up. It's all type of fucked up. Here's a picture of it. Um, By the way, it's also the picture of this of this video. Oh, my gosh. There's so much All right, at this point, why would I buy a new car if... My car's gonna be new at that point. You know what I mean? I haven't filmed videos, and why am I? See what I mean? I get, I get out of focus. Like she, she, I think she has like a a phobia of being not focused. Anyways, um, we need to buy a whole bunch of different parts for it tomorrow, um, and then it will be complete in about the mechanic, which is our friend, said it, it could be done in within two days after getting all the parts that we need for the actual car. So basically we will need a new belt, uh, the compressor belt, we need the timing chain, we also need um, a new, we need a new wire harness, that one, because the one I had in the car, it, it was fried, it's, it's, it's fried. Um, and also we're gonna need a sensor for, I. I think the sensor is for like the um the oil pressure. I forgot what's what it's called, but yeah, basically five different parts and they all cause 
yeah the good thing is the car is going to be basically brand new everything they're going to take the whole motor out they're going to replace all the parts on the motor um they're going to put new seals on the motor and that's actually very very good because number one the car is going to basically be, be like brand new spanking new i can go to miami and back and nothing's going to happen but yeah yep my car is at the shop and i won't have a car for the next week week and a half um it's good to happen now then it would have happened let's say i would i'll be like 30 minutes away from home and then it just started smoking and then i would have to stop and get a tow truck it's good to happen here um close like okay i'll be honest with you guys when it first started smoking that i heard a big pop i heard a huge pop at work right I didn't think nothing of it. I got out of the car, usual. I checked if it, did, if it was smoking or anything. It wasn't smoking, it was fine, right? So I obviously put it back in drive and I just kept going to my house. And then right about when I was about to leave my job, that's when I heard an even bigger explosion. That's when I just kept going and then I parked where the 7-Eleven is at and that's when I called my mom and my dad and then they came and rescued me. Of course, at that point, the car cannot be turned on whatsoever because if I, I was scared that if I turned it on, it, it would be even worse. It could, the whole motor could blow up, you know what I mean? Um, so I, we just didn't turn it on. What we did is that we caught a tow truck and the tow truck brought it home and yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how it ended up. And then that same night, I called my friend Marcos. So that's basically what happened all throughout that time guys and uh yeah she's not gonna be home until probably next week so you guys are probably not gonna have a vlog for a week week and a half